It's never been done before. So I need planning, a large crew. With Oceans, I didn't want it to be unexplained black box technology. Everything that they do is based on something that's possible. He's feeding the cages at the Mirage. There's this real sense of people who are intimately acquainted with technology. And we're up and running. They understand the gadgets. They go out and get them. They know how to use them. These guys were effortlessly cool, but they were pragmatic guys, too. They have a job to do, so if they could do it with a bit of style, they'll do it with a bit of style. It can't be hacked, but... Right. What? They have with a piggyback. Livingston? Yeah, anything I don't have, I can get. An A oh, yeah, it's done. with a right. what? Boys, you're making that now. I always liked the heist film. And the fun part of it is, really is about the heist. You get to be in it and watch us screw up and watch us do things good and bad. Oh, oh, oh. And you get to take the ride. Go. We've always liked the idea of a small, motivated group of people coming in and kind of wreaking havoc. And Vegas is a specifically cool target because you always have the sense, being there, that there's a system at work that's trying to screw you in a way. So the idea of screwing Vegas back has a universal appeal. You guys really can pick him. This guy is as smart as he is ruthless. The technical undertaking of robbing a casino these days is impressive in a lot of ways. Vegas is home to some pretty amazing security technology. It's not the least accessible system I've seen, but it's close. You would definitely see all kinds of biometric scanners, not just your thumbprint, maybe your whole handprint, retina scans, uh, voice detection systems. There's all kinds of cutting edge ways of really identifying who you are. It had to feel like all that stuff could have existed. Um, one of the things we found out on one of our initial scouts, the Bellagio, was they don't even have a vault. So that allowed me a, a lot of freedom just to sort of get a little bit of the fantasy of it. It had to look stylish. It was all about looking good, but grounded in the real world. The easiest way to get in and steal money these days is via a laptop. But if you're going to use a physical means of getting in, then explosives make a lot of sense. There was a scene with Bashir robbing a bank. The original idea was just to blow the vault, a big explosion, and the door falls over. But our costume designer, Jeffrey Curlin, showed me a sketch of Basher Todd, and it was this incredibly stylish guy. So because of the way the character looked and his style, he wouldn't do it that way. He would go high tech. He would do like shape charges and controlled demolition. All right, chips. It's got to be kind of slick. Hang on to your niggas. Third Ocean's movie, we perpetrate a scam. We're gonna rig every single game for nine minutes. New dice. New dice, coming in. That could actually work. So you need to rig. Craps, blackjack, roulette, slot. Well, we're not stealing anything. We're letting everyone else steal it. And they all win. There's something great about that. That was fun stuff to do. It's old tabletop gags from movies in the silent era. Going lo-fi. We figured we'd get some loaded balls in there. Ball coming in. The shot where the roulette wheel stops exactly in the right spot. We filmed that in reverse. It started in the right spot, and then we jiggled it with the jet of air and then blew it away. Now, this polymer reacts to ultrasonic pulses. The shots where the dice flip, we drilled out the center of the number five or whatever number we wanted to come up, and we got a really, really powerful magnet, and we put it in there. And then underneath the craps table, we built a huge magnet. And when we wanted the dice to flip, we raised it up. And the two magnets repelled, and it flipped. Snake eyes, all of it. Action. Yo, oh, two craps. Yo, eleven. It's all magician stuff, card table stuff, but it all works. Second floor window, with three inches too high. There's no clear shot, even with Basher. In the Ocean's 12 movie, we had to bring the, the house up to a certain level to, to get the arrow through the window. It was a really nice idea. Yeah, yeah. 
I have to raise a house, you know? <laughs> so why don't you open a window? No, I've got to raise the house, you know? But it makes sense, though. The actual technology of lifting up a house like that is pretty common. Schumann did it in 64, in Venice, in 73, in Istanbul. And he only had a crew of six. In oil rig construction, you tend to have uh, systems that can lift and lower an oil rig, and everything is pretty light underwater. And so you can have hydraulic systems alone that could lift up a house, in theory, that way. We actually shot it for real. We built a huge tank on the back lot of Warner Brothers, and then we built the set in the tank. And all the gauges and all the electronic readouts, we put all that in there. And it was a very big, elaborate shoot. And the system that we were basically portraying is real and it exists. To get in the house, they have to rig up a, what's called a Schumann Special. They fired from that rooftop through this open window. That's a very difficult shot. No, it's an impossible shot. Basher has to shoot a clear shot through a window to type in a code to set the alarms, to turn them off. I saw this in the script, and I go, God, that would just be so awesome to do that for real. So we came up with a design for this thing, packed it with electronics, programmable chips, and the whole set of widgets and gadgets, and built it. And on cue, we ran this thing down a wire and initiated a whole sequence when it turned and grabbed on and push buttons by radio control. It's one of my favorite sequences. What's a pinch? There is such a thing as a pinch, and it exists in a laboratory, and it does exactly what Cheadle says it does in the film. It's a device which creates like a cardiac arrest for any broadband electrical circuitry. It's a pulse of electromagnetic energy that throws off the conduction electricity in gadgets. So it would blow out anything electrical in the area. The most classic example of that is the kind of shockwave that comes from a nuclear weapon. The idea of a portable EMP that could knock out a city would take a lot more than what's in a van. We strained reality a little bit. There's military programs where they work on such things, but a military pinch is the size of a railroad car. Ours was designed to fit in the back of a Ford Econoline van, so we cheated it. What I try to do is, is show a bit of what people would expect it to be, or at least what I would have expected it to be, and then heighten that, bring what was the best of real-world technology. And certainly, Stephen it would riff off that. Stephen would say something like, uh, I have an idea for a huge drill that turns incredibly slowly. And we'd say, OK, go on. And he'd say, that's all I have. So we'd have to just sort of chew on that for weeks. He would really be encouraging you to just go chase it down and find the dream logic to these ideas. The channel is a drill that dug the channel, like a big shovel, and they bring it from England to Vegas, and it's meant to simulate an earthquake. Ryan's along here. The building acts like a tuning fork. People inside will feel like an earthquake. It's based on a tunneling technology that has happened in recent years. And with Phil Messina had an outline sketch of what it should be, and we looked at it, and I said, we can build it. And we got familiar with the technology and how it actually works. So it was a movie prop. But technologically, if we'd made it heavier and, you know, stronger and with more powerful motors, it would actually have worked. Get him order. These guys, they covered a lot of ground. <laughs> a lot of different styles. They've got high tech and low tech, and they've worked together, and they've worked individually. An interactive, collaborative process that would work between all of us involved. Tied back to the characters, because they wanted to help each other out, you know? Now, 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 roll it, roll it, roll it. I hope they're paying you well. <laughs> Just go along for the ride and have a laugh. It's great. <laughs>